So, good day kay studmates. So, ngayon naman is pag-aaralan natin yung proportion. So, in this lesson, the Sky Stadmates will be able to define proportion, determine if the two ratios form a proportion, and solve for the value of the unknown in a proportion. So, ngayon is what is a proportion? A proportion is an equation with a ratio on each side. It is a statement that two ratios are equal. I know na alam niyo naman na yung ratio, kung paano yun nag-work. So, pwede niyong panoorin yung video tutorial ko about sa ratio. So, 3 4 is equivalent to 6 all over 8. So, that is an example of a proportion. So, ang lowest term ng 6 all over 8 is 3 4. So, an equation showing two ratios that are equal, it's called a proportion. So, it can be written in two ways. Two equal fractions, A all over B equals C all over D. Using a colon, A is to B equals C to D. Since the two ratios are equal, we get A times D equals B times C. So, bakit natin kailangan gamitin yung formula ng cross products or yung A times D equals B times C? Because when one of the four numbers is in the proportion is unknown, cross products may be used to find the unknown number. This is called solving the proportion. Question marks or letters are frequently used in place of the unknown number. So, paano ito nag-work? So, itatry natin sa ating mga examples. So, before we start sa ating example, so, kailangan muna natin ipakita yung cross products. So, ano ba yung cross products na yun? So, ang gagawin lang natin is ipag-multiply natin yung A natin sa ating D. And then, yung pangalawa is yung B sa ating D. So, we have the formula A times D equals B times C. So, ito po yung gagamitin natin formula sa cross products. So, itry natin sa ating example para makita nyo kung paano ito nag-work. So, ang gagawin natin is find the value of X so that the following fractions are equivalent. So, for example, is 5 all over 6 and x all over 18. So, ang gagawin natin is hanapin natin yung value ng x to satisfy our equivalent fractions. So, ang gagawin po natin is using the cross products na yung AD equals BC. So, ang gagawin natin is yung 5 ang ating A and then yung 6 ang ating B and then yung x is yun yung nawawala or pwede natin sabihin na si C and yung 18 is yun yung ating D. So, gagawin lang natin is i-multiply natin yung 5 at saka 18. So, 5 times 18 equals B times C. So, ang B natin is 6 and then times C. So, ang C, yun yung nawawala which is yung X or pwede rin natin gawin na yung C na lang is yun yung ating x. So, pwede natin i-substitute or palitan ng x. So, ngayon is pwede na natin i-solve para makuha natin yung value ng ating x. So, 5 times 18 is equivalent to 90. So, using your calculator, so makukuha nyo na ang 5 times 18 is 90. So, 6 times x is 6x. And then, marami tayong way. So, kung paano natin makukuha yung ating x values, ikagawin natin is i-magdi-divide tayo both side by 6. So, ang purpose natin dito is dapat sa left or right side is maiwan lang yung ating x. So, 90 all over 6 and 6x all over 6. And then, of course, makakancel yung ating 6. So, meron tayong... 90 all over 6 equals x. So, of course, pwede na natin i-divide yung 6 sa ating 90. So, 90 divided by 6 
is equivalent to 15. So, ang value ng ating x is 15, in which that is our letter C. So, ang value ng ating x is dapat 15 to satisfy our equivalent fraction. So, so ang value ng ating x is 15. Therefore, 5 all over 6 is equivalent to 15 all over 18. So, ito po yung ating nakuwang value ng ating x. So, try natin sa next example. So, what if meron tayong 15 all over x and 3 all over 5 or 3 fifth? So, ang gagawin ulit natin is cross multiplication. So, so, ang way natin is yung A all over B equals C all over D. So, ang gagawin lang natin is 15 all over X equals 3 all over 5. So, 3 all over 5. So, nakikita nyo naman sa ating taas yung ating formula na. So, ang gagawin po natin is cross multiplication or cross product ng 15 at saka 5 and x at saka 3. Meron tayong 15 times 5 equals 3 times our x. So, we have 15 times 5 is equivalent to 75 equals 3x. Ngayon, isosolve natin yung ating x. So, mag-divide tayo both sides by 3 para maiwan yung x. So, napapansin nyo na pwede natin i-cancel yung 3. So, 75 divided by 3 is equivalent to 25 and equals x. So, our value for our x is 25 to satisfy our equivalent fractions. To satisfy our proportion. Since ang ating x is 25, so pwede na natin sabihin na ang 15 all over 25 is equivalent lang siya sa 3 fifth. Yun po yung answer sa ating x. So more examples, so try natin yung another example. 6 all over 7 and 24 all over x. So, dating gawi, gagawin natin is 6 all over 7 is equivalent to 24 all over x. And next is cross multiplication which is A times D equals B times C. So, gagawin natin is 6 which is our A and then times our D which is yung x and then equivalent to our B which is yung 7, and then ita times natin sa 24. And then, 6 times x, of course, 6x equals 7 times 24 is equivalent to 168. So, ang gagawin natin is magdi-divide both sides by 6. So, next, is makakancel yung ating 6. So, may 1 is x equals 168 divided by 6 is equivalent to 28. So, ang value ng ating x is 28. So, ibig sabihin, ang 6 all over 7 is equivalent siya sa 24 all over 28 na ang 6 all over 7 is 24 all over 28. So, next example. So, what if meron tayong x all over 3 and 9 all over 21? So, try natin ulit yung cross product. Ang gagawin ulit natin is cross products. So, ang till na ma-satisfy kayo at ma-memorize and ma-familiarize and ma-master ang proportion. So, our formula is A times D equals BC. Ang ating A is X times yung ating D which is 21 equals 3 which is our B times C which is 9. 
And then, x times 21 is equivalent to 21x. And 3 times 9 is equivalent to 27. So, 21x equals 27. And, of course, magdi-divide tayo both sides by 21 and 21. So, syempre, makakancel yung ating 21. So, ang ating value ng x is 9 all over 7. So, bakit 9 all over 7 yung sagot? Kasi pwede pa naman nating i-lowest term yung 27 all over 21. Since pwede natin i-divide yung 27 by 3 and 21 by 3. So, 27 divided by 3 is 9 and 21 divided by 3 is 7. So, pwedeng ang value ng x natin is 27 all over 21 or 9 all over 7. So, therefore, ang x natin is 9 all over 7. So, ang value ng ating x is 9 all over 7 and then all over 3 is equivalent lang siya sa 9 all over 21. Why? So, 9 all over 7 times 3 is 21. So, 9 all over 21 is equivalent to 9 all over 21. So, ang value ng ating x is 9 all over 7 to satisfy our proportion. So, yun guys, for our last example, is 7 all over 10 and x all over 50. So, dating the way, cross product, A times D equals B times C. So, ang gagawin natin is, dating the way, 7 all over 10 is equivalent to X all over 50. Our cross products, which is yung A times D equals B times C. So, we have 7 times 50 equals 10 times our X. So, 7 times 50 is equivalent to 350. So, try nyo sa calcule, makukuha natin is 350. And 10 times x is 10x. So, i-divide natin both sides by 10. Since ang katabi ng ating x is 10. So, 350 divided by 10 is equivalent to 35. And equals 10 divided by 10. Of course, cancel yan. So, ang matitira is yung ating x. So, our value for x is 35 to satisfy our proportion which is 7 all over 10 equals x all over 50. So, isusubstitute natin sa ating x yung 35. So, ang 7 all over 10 is equivalent lang siya sa 35 all over 50. So, ayan guys. I hope nakuha nyo yung answer sa sinulog kong ito. So, I hope natulungan ko kayo kung paano kumuha or mag-solve ng proportion. So, thank you guys and God bless.